Uh, we're continuing to look at differential equation, FRQs, for AP review. Number two, uh, no calculator. The rate at which a baby bird gains weight is proportional to the difference between its adult weight and its current weight. At time t equals zero, when the bird is first weighed, its weight is 20 grams. If b of t is the weight of the bird in grams at time t days after its first weight, then uh, it follows this differential equation or derivative equation. Let y equals b of t be the solution to the differential equation above with the initial condition b of 0 is equal to 20 grams. So for part A, is the bird gaining weight faster when it weighs 40 grams or when it weighs 70 grams? So we're trying to figure out uh, the rate of change of the bird's weight changing, uh, rate of change of the bird's uh, weight. And we want to find out the rate of change of that. So we have to look at our rate of change, our dBdt, and just decide uh, the dBdt when, t when um, uh, b is 40 or when b is 70, which one is going to produce a greater rate of change. So we just go ahead and plug that in. Uh, plug in 40 and for the b value of uh, dBdt, we get 12. Plug in 70 and for the b value for dBdt, we get 6. So between 12 and 6, 12 is a larger value. So we know that the bird is gaining weight faster when it weighs 40 grams because when it weighs 40 grams, uh, the bird's weight is changing at 12 grams per day as opposed to 6 grams per day. Uh, so for part B, it says find D2B over DT2. That's asking for the second derivative. So since our dBdt is this equation, I'm just, I distributed one fifth through, maybe to make it a little bit easier to find the derivative. So a dBdt becomes the second derivative um, uh, notation. One fifth times 100, that's just a constant. That's going to go to zero. But one fifth b will become one fifth dBdt. Okay. So b becomes one, but we're attaching dBdt because Everything is in relation to time, so b becomes db dt. Uh, to make this a little bit easier to uh, to evaluate, once I have my second derivative equation, I'm going to replace db dt in terms of my uh, initial expression that has um, the variable b in it. So I'm going to replace uh, db dt with one fifth one hundred minus b. Now that's going to be within this negative one fifth already. If I clean this up. I'm going to get um, uh, 1 25th, 100 minus b. Okay. Sorry, it's going to be, uh, yeah. So then, uh, because b is between 20 and 100, right, the weight is between 20 and 100, our second derivative function is always going to be positive which means that the graph is concave up. Okay. However, the graph is showing portions that's concave down for parts of the graph. So we know that, um, uh, we know that this graph cannot resemble, uh, or this second derivative um, is not going to, this graph is not going to resemble the actual um, B function. Okay, moving on to part C, uh, we're going to be separating the variables and solving for um, get it up from b, from the derivative uh, form to a original function form in terms of b of t. And once you get to our uh, general solution, we're going to move to a particular solution uh, by solving for c and using the order pair 0, 20 to help us do that. Okay, so here's our dBdt, 1 fifth times 100 minus b. I'm going to write that as a fraction so I can cross multiply. So when I cross multiply, uh, I'm going to get 5 dB dt is equal to 100 minus b times dt. Now I'm going to look at this and see, all right, how can I get full separation of variables? I want all my b terms on the left side and everything else on the right side, including the t dt's. So I'm going to move the 100 minus b over. The parentheses is a way to kind of help remind us that if we want to move the b, the 100 and the minus has to go along with it. So I'm going to divide that 100 minus b over to the left side. 
but I also want to move this five over uh, just so that I can I only want what's on the, I only want what's I need absolutely on the left side which is uh, anything associated or connected to um, my B variable so I'm going to divide the five over to the right side uh, we know that we're going to maybe have to bring this up but I know this is going to be a U substitution problem. I'm going to let our U, my U value be 100 minus B. My DU over DB is just going to be 0 minus 1. 100 goes to 0. Negative B becomes negative 1. Solve for DB, I get negative DU. So once I make that substitution, I get integral of 1 over U times negative DU. Uh, I can think of this as 1 fifth integral times DT. So integral of 1 becomes 1 uh, T one-fifth coefficient in front, one over u times negative one, I get negative natural log of absolute value of u. Multiply everything through by negative one, uh, I get natural log of 100 minus b is equal to negative one-fifth t plus c. Uh, you may be thinking, well, the negative one times positive c, shouldn't that create a negative c? But we're just always going to represent a c, because c can absorb positive and negative values. So almost as notation, we're just always going to have a plus C here. Now, I want to solve for B, but to solve for B, I want to get this 100 minus B out from under this natural log uh, function. So the way I can get rid of natural log is to raise both sides with base E. Once I raise both sides with base E, I can look to see what I can do to clean up. The left side will just give me absolute value of 100 minus B. The right side, I can expand this into e to the negative 1 t times e to the c. Now e to the c is just a constant, so I can just represent this as times c, and then push that c out in front as a coefficient. Okay, we know we have to solve for c at some point, so I'm going to go ahead and solve for c by plugging in my order pair that's provided in uh, the beginning of part d. So 0 plugs in for t, 20 plugs in for b, so once I do that, I get 100 minus 20 is equal to CE to the 0. E to the 0 is 1. If I solve for C, I get C equals 80. Go ahead and make that substitution back to our general equation to make it a particular equation or a specific equation. And now we just have to solve for B. So I'm going to uh, move B over to the right side, subtract the 80 over to the right, sorry, to the left, and my B is equal to 100 minus 80e to the negative 150.